Hello everybody. Okay, we're going to talk about SI pain and how to stabilize the SI joint. My name is Alva Hatcher and I like to help people exercise with intention through a process called Assess, Restore, Train because your body's a work of art. You only have one, so make your masterpiece. So, when we're looking here at the SI joint, notice where it's located. It's located right by this diamond, which is called the thoracolumbar fascia. Now you can't tell fascia, hey fascia, engage and stabilize my SI joint because the fascia itself is not active, but that is right where that SI joint sits. So if we want to stabilize the SI joint, we have to engage, right? Because we can work the muscles that attach to that fascia. So if we're looking at it, okay, I'm looking at the right SI joint right now, and I'm drawing out doo -doo 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 -doo, the glutes and the opposite lats. So notice it literally, if you were to peel layers of muscle, the glute and the opposing lat would peel off as one piece. And that, my friends, is how you stabilize that SI joint is working those, and if you do them together, that's a double whammy. Now the next most common question that I get is why is it on opposite sides? Why does it go diagonal? And why is it not on the same side? Easy answer. We don't walk like this. We walk opposite arm, opposite legs. And that, my friends, is how to stabilize an SI joint. Bye.